This is the International English Language Testing System. The candidate is Akhra Zermeen, candidate number 849080, and the examiner is Farzana Sylvia, number 45421. Good morning, my name is Farzana Sylvia. Can you please tell me your full name? Good morning, my name is Akhra Zermeen, but you can call me Akhra. That's nice. Can you please show me your identification? Yes, of course, here you go. Thank you. Thank you. In the first part of the test, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Dhaka, the capital city of Bangladesh, which is also a neighboring country to India. Are you a student or are you working? I am currently a student of environmental science in my second year of college, but I'm also working part-time. Okay. Why did you choose this subject? To be honest, initially I was a student of biotechnology in my first year, but I soon realized that it was not my piece of cake. So I switched to environmental science, which seemed like a far better option for me. Okay. What do you like to do in your free time? I actually have uh, many hobbies, uh, so they keep me busy during my free time, but some would be like reading books, cooking or baking, and painting too sometimes. All right. Speaking of cooking, do you like to cook? I love to cook. It's actually one of the things that I'm most passionate about. And whenever I'm stressed or I just want to get my mind off certain things, I like to bake to release myself. It's sort of like therapy for me. Okay. What is your favorite cuisine? Speaking of favorite cuisines, I would say Italian is my favorite. I just love pasta and carbs, <laughs> so Italian, uh, in Italian, pe uh, pasta, pizza, lasagna, those would be my favorite, right? What is the most popular dish in your country? While Bangladesh is known for its fish, curries, and rice, there is a saying, Macha Pate Bangali, but I would say the most popular dish in my country would be its street foods, mainly fuchka and chakuti. Okay. Let's talk about music. How often do you listen to music? I listen to music quite often, maybe five to six days a week, if not every day. I usually listen to it on my way to class or when I'm taking a walk, working out, etc. Do you ever go to live concerts? While I have been to a few live concerts, I haven't really gone to my favorite artist's concerts yet, so it's still in my bucket list to go to a few of my favorite artist's concerts. Is music an important subject in schools in your country? For schools, I would say it depends, but in my country, music in general is quite important. Culturally, I would say that we as Bangladeshis, we like to express ourselves through our music and dance. But in schools, it depends on the school if it would be there as a subject or not. Okay. All right. Now let's move on to the second part of the speaking test. I'm going to give you a topic and I would like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you have one minute to think about what you're going to say. You can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yes. Um, here is your topic. Thank you. Describe your favorite actor or actress. Your preparation time is now over. Remember, you have one to two minutes for this. So don't worry if I stop you. I'll tell you when your time is up. Can you start speaking now, please? Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak about this topic. My favorite uh, actor would be Ryan Reynolds, who is a very famous Hollywood actor. He usually stars in comedy and superhero films. Um, I would say he's my favorite because he's just so charismatic and charming as an actor as well as a person. Um, he also does quite a lot of human humanitarian work. 
for example, he loves working for the environment and he's always creating awareness about it. So as an environment student myself, I think he does a really good job on screen as well as off screen. He just, he's just so charismatic and funny and charming that not only do the ladies love him, the men love him too. Everyone just wants to become friends with him and be with him or just spend time with him. Okay, so we have been talking about actors and actresses that you enjoy and we are going to continue talking about movies and theater. Mm -hmm. So what are the most popular types of movies in your country? I would say superhero movies as well as comedy movies are the most popular in my country. People love any Marvel or DC films that get released. Okay. Do you think going to the cinema will be as popular in the future? Personally, I believe yes, it will become even more popular as as technology advances, I feel like movie theaters, they will get more advanced as well. And the whole theater experience is just so different than watching a movie at home that I do think it will become more popular in the future. Okay. How strong a tradition is it today in your country to go to the theater? It's actually not a very strong tradition. Uh, most people love to watch movies from the comfort of their homes. I mean, honestly, why would you go to the theater if you can just watch it for free at home? But personally, I believe it will get more popular, or the traditional will get stronger in the future. Okay. In some countries, governments pay theaters to put on shows for the public. Do you think this is a good use of public money? I would say it depends on a couple of things, actually. For example, if these said shows are for free, so the public can watch them for free, then it's not a bad idea. And if these said shows are about something that's creating awareness for the public, about their country or about their culture, then it's okay. But other than that, if it's just spreading propaganda, then no, it's not a good use of public money. Thank you. So we have reached the end of the speaking test. Thank you. Bye-bye.